Hello and welcome back. I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Europe Universalis 4. This is Blessed Prester John. Uh, let's wait for the next monthly tick. And uh, there's like two more forts that I want to build before I do the Renaissance. Like I want the Renaissance, don't get me wrong. But um, I noticed after integrating this subject over here, we've got a big wide gap in zone of control coverage. And right now I like the way that we're situated over here. Uh, this is a wasteland, so if they try to come in this way, they can get to Dewaro, but then they get stuck on the fort in the highlands of Herer. They can't go around this way because of the fort in Ziela. Uh, Lasta is a mountain fort that's going to be up soon, which is going to block this whole side. But the problem is over here, they can just come in from behind to get directly into Damat and Kaffa. So I'm going to build a fort in Soba to protect the inland center of trade, I think. And then uh, that will also block off the wasteland up to here. And then, while we're at war, well, Beja's not going to be in the war, but they are, it's going to be blocked here. And I also want to build one in Al-Kardif, but not yet. So, uh, next fort, though, I wanted to build was in, I think, Ghetto. It's kind of a low priority, but I, I do want to build one there. Since this one's currently being converted, 4.6% per, per month, January of 79... Gotta wait a year to start the conversion. Og deer. I could lower autonomy there. As well. But also lower autonomy in some of the land that we've integrated. Wadi Halfa. Wadi Halfa. Up here. Be glad to. I'm not currently overextended, but I think I can handle a tiny bit of unrest in this location. We have room for more troops. Um, I want to get another fort started, though. Ghetto? I think I'm just going to do it. Just get it out of the way. I don't have to worry about it anymore. And off to this location, because I want to return these cores to Aiden. That's uh, quite a bit of base tax that we could be taxing the crap out of right now. Castle is complete in Hafun. Great. Ooh, a mothballed fort in Nar Naj Najran? A mothballed fort adjacent to a capital fort? That's um that's awesome. Because I could <laughs> if I snipe a mothballed fort there, then uh then he basically can't even defend his capital because he will have to take that fort back. Once he comes into Dawasir, he'll uh, he'll be stuck in the zone of control. That's great. Let's come back from Proving with you, and I think April 1st, I'll declare war. Hopefully he doesn't turn it on. There's another fort here that he apparently had also mothballed recently. That one will still be half garrison strength as well. We might not even need to siege that though, because... He did not turn it on. He does not have the income of the gold mines that I do, and Kara won't even defend him. Beautiful. Reconquest of Damar. You can be there well on time. Okay, I want the siege guy to go into the capital, and I want the maneuver guy, secondary maneuver guy, to just march over to that fort, make sure he gets there on time. And then, um, actually, do we even need the maneuver guy to get there on time? No. I'll just put the secondary guy on this siege of this other fort. My goal is going to be just basically knock down Najran, and then hopefully that'll be enough war score to immediately get the peace deal. I want to go to war with Mamluk soon. I don't like having less less than 50 power projection. It's already locked. Mm. Here on the 21st and on the 30th. Well, hopefully we hold out long enough. This guy's on tech 6 to my tech 6. Still have no tech 7 cannons, but we're only ten, uh, one year ahead of time, and in not too long, I will embrace the institution. So maybe I can actually force myself to save up for a little while. We did get defeated. Because we didn't make it in time. Hmm. 
subject who's disloyal, Beja. Wrong religious group. I need to force convert somebody soon. Pilgrims! The Pilgrims of Ankober. Ankober has recently seen many a lost soul seeking guidance at the monastery in the area. In fact, the region is becoming quite popular for people looking for repentance and absolute absolution in the ways of St. Anthony. The surrounding wilderness is well suited for the life of a hermit, allowing some of the most devout Copts to spend years in contemplative solitude. Meanwhile, the population of Ankober has takes great pride in this piety. Some well-placed words of encouragement could allow us to bolster their enthusiasm even, even further. Ankober. It's a three development mountain. Okay. Uh, gain dip points either. No, dip dip or mill. Local production efficiency or local manpower. Uh, Diplo, obviously, since we're really far behind on Diplo and we're about to become uh, unbalanced research. He's trying to siege someone who's not even in the war. It's kind of funny. Or he's not trying to siege them, but he's just, he's like hiding, basically. Is that his whole army? Not quite. That's that siege of that fort. Easy war. This army, if I had another uh, another general, I would be drilling right now. We're not ahead of time on military tech, so I can't afford to hire one. That's not what I want to see. I mean, I knew he had more troops. I should have realized that they would probably be in the farthest corner of his country, <laughs> right? As I send an army without a leader. Please don't get stack wiped. Thank you. I appreciate that. 28 war score and 7 enthusiasm. So, as soon as he gets down to low, I'll just take the peace deal. I don't really want to push for anything crazy. Just want to return the two cores. Do some looting. Can I afford to keep on doing Diplo ideas? I think so. If I go two more, Unjustified Demands will help out with the push into Africa, into the gold mines down there. I still need to fabricate more claims, and the Age of Discovery is going to end at some point in the near future. Like, what, 20 years, 10 years, somewhere around there? Something like that. Speed 4, come on. Ain't nobody got time for this. Still need to build a fort in Soba. If we embrace the institution, though, we also get um, construction costs and development costs, so I guess I'll do the institution next. See? Look at that. See how decisive I am? Nice water shortage. Truce with Ajran is up. Our subject. Ajran's loyal though, so we don't have to worry about him trying to band together with anybody else. Humor just did a thing. I really can't afford to stay below 50 power projection anymore. If I got rid of this, I'm still only going to be in 8th place. I'm not yet caught up to the Mamluks in development. Actually, no. I'll be ahead of the Mamluks until they embrace it, but they're probably going to embrace it soon, right? Mm, yes, they do have it present, so they could embrace. How's their income, though? We're a solid 16, 17 ducats ahead of them right now, so... I would put my money on me being the one to uh, embrace it first. That pop-up annoys the crap out of me because you have to have an active diplomat, an available diplomat, to be able to do it. But even if you don't do it, it sets the timer to one month, as if you've interacted with them recently, even though we haven't. It's like... It's stupid. I don't like it. All right, I want you to return cores to Aiden. 
And Aiden. Yemen, not so much. Don't really care about Yemen. Don't care about your military access. I do want money. And that's the deal. Two Siege Pip guy can go there. Still don't want to do it, even though you have got like no enthusiasm at all, huh? What's up with that? Innovativeness is decreasing because we need tech. It's fine. Okay, so sixteen. One point four percent for sixteen months is pretty quick. I'd say that's about on par with these ones. I want to build that fort, but I can't yet. What's institution embracement cost? Modified by again. Uh, prestige is pretty much maxed out, putting us at negative 20%. So, 500 gold is just going to be, I think, the full price. It's going to be whatever it is. You can invest in a new idea. I will gladly do so. That also gives us bonus... Um, National idea, chance of new air plus 50%. We also have chance of new air plus 25% here. So our chance of a new air is, uh, it's pretty good. Chance of new air is 75%. Yeah, it's pretty good. Gonna stack wipe his army. That'll, that'll show him. Okay, truces. We've got Yemen until 79 uh, June. So in just a very, very brief here, time here, I can declare on this guy, I have a claim. My subject has a claim, but um, I already enabled scootage, so but we'll, we can finish off Yemen. Might not have been a bad idea to return some of those, those cores. I could have actually gone for three provinces off Yemen, but... Too late to worry about it now. Should have at least some edict on in the state capital. Manpower, I guess. Alright, just need to make a little bit of cash so that I can actually get the... Uh, I'm not turning off divert trade. You guys can just deal with it. I will train a couple more infantry though if I have to. You bloat my numbers. Go ahead and start drilling with this army. I like how I have all these Sunni subjects. Kind of funny. The actual truce is up in June. You can go join him. Those extra troops. Hopefully make them loyal again. Not a single one of them can afford any troops. Bezier's already maxed out on relations. Um, not nearly enough professionalism for a reduction in, uh, or for a boost in manpower, but 
All right, uh, let's see. I do need more claims on Warsangali. I probably should get some claims on the Mamluks. I do have the cores of Beja to use, but... All right, I want to get this institution embraced, declare war on Yemen. And then, I don't know, I'll go in another direction. Five hundred and four ducats next month. Did I ever pay off that loan? You're gonna bring in Orsengali and Mahra. I still have no truce with you, but you're allied to the Mamluks, so that's fine. Orsengali. I believe I just demanded money. So. It'd be nice to get a little bit more cash from this guy. Just send, like... These guys over. And yeah, I think I'll get started. We're gonna use my war goal. Mahra, I could co belligerent, but I don't want to do that. Um... Yeah, no. Hope Mahra doesn't have any forts. He does not. Uh, this troop is, yeah, probably not going to be drilling. Actually, it's going to march over that way. We got forts everywhere around these guys, so they're in trouble. I could just take, like, a very, very small amount from Morsangali. But, again, when you're behind time on tech, Usually not a good idea. There's the institution. Let's go ahead and do it. And we're doing just fine, I think. We'll be able to catch up without much issue. My navy is getting wrecked by the other fleet because my other ships were still all trying to repair. I assumed that the whole fleet was coming and not just a small portion, and I was wrong. That navy should be capable of beating them, though. All right, so we got primary siege leader on the war leader. This guy's going to go here. Drop off one guy, stack up the three stack, send one more guy forward, finish the siege, take the money. These armies are going to go do their job. Is my navy capable of winning this fight? There's a heavy out there. They do have four transports. Is four transports and a heavy equivalent to five lights? Maybe. Morale-wise, we seem to be winning. But, looks like we are losing ships. We killed one of theirs, lost two of ours. It's fine. My navy's not really, like, a, a big part of what I'm doing just yet. That's kind of dumb pathing. Jaffa's dead. That supply limit's pretty bad. Alright, cool. Take a short break here. I'll be back in the next episode. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you soon.